Okay, can I just say a note to the audience here? Yeah. Okay, viewers, I've got these three fools behind me who are trying not to laugh. Everyone, while they laugh, if you hear one person laugh, that's okay. I've been trying to make these fools laugh, and they're like stone cold, like poker faced all the time. So I'm really working hard, I, but it's pretty tough. Fine, I guess. Awesome. I don't know. Uh, just went for it. Uh, and then that was it. I think, it, yeah, I think it was kiss and then over. Oh, what are you supposed to practice? This is good. There must be some, like, toys you can order online. But if not, you gotta go across the hall in your dorms and find somebody who's like, this is, guys, listen up. You go, get out of your dorm room, walk over, knock on another gal's dorm room. Or maybe you're into guys, I don't know, that's totally fine. Knock on somebody's door and say, hey, what's up? I need to practice kissing because I'm going to get married someday and I can't be messing around. And I'm sure they would totally understand. <laughs> I, uh, probably around spring of 2002, I submitted my uh, resume to the chemistry department and had rolling hires. And so I got a call somewhere around September 15th of that year to come in. And I don't know if I was the only one home or what happened, but I came in immediately and they asked me, I think one question, which was, am I gonna use a laptop or the chalkboard, or what am I gonna use in class? And I said I'd use the overhead projector. And uh, I basically got hired on the spot and I started about a week and a half later. Uh, I met her in Davis actually at The Graduate, which is the place over by the old tea house in the U-Mall. Here was the problem though. I was a grad student, I was a new grad student and she was a new undergrad. So we had like a four or five year difference. And so I already knew, because I had met a number of undergrads by that point, that undergrads for some reason thought it was weird to meet a grad student. So I was like all hush hush on this. So whenever somebody would ask me like, uh, you know, what year are you? Oh, this is my first year at Davis, which is totally true, but I wasn't a freshman. And so, and they would ask, so of course, when, you know, I asked Peggy to dance, we dance, that's like the sort of thing you do. And then she asked me, oh, what year are you? Oh, it's my first year at Davis. What's your major? Chemical engineering, blah, blah, blah. And then she was just too crazy curious. And she finally, like, uh, finally asked me point blank how to say, oh, I'm a grad student. And then she, like, freaked out, wandered out through the crowds, and I didn't see her again for a long time. Uh, and then we ended up seeing each other again. Uh, we ended up going to the same group club called the University. And I met her again, but I think she was still weirded out by that initial situation. So she didn't really talk to me. And then a few years later, uh, I, she, I was with my friend Corey. She was there, we happened to be like the same house with a group of people. She came up to Corey and she said, hey Corey, heard you go swing dancing. Do you want to come with me? You know, we thought that she liked Corey because she invited him to go swing dancing, which I was obviously better. So uh, I like paid no attention to her for a while. And it wasn't until uh, like a long time later that we started hanging out, which was probably a six year time span from the first time I met her that we started hanging out more seriously. <laughs>